acidic environment where there is blood space combined with inflammatory pathways drives VEGF. Uh, uh, Chronic inflammation reactions seem to be largely orchestrated by the tumor. So at a certain point, the tumor takes over and begins to create its own environment where it is immunosuppressive and its uh, a generation of inflammatories creates a number of uh, factors such as metastases. Next slide. Cytokines are one of the factors associated with this, and particularly interleukin 1 and interleukin 6. These uh, uh, act in the uh, tumor environment to uh, increase uh, blood circulation. As you know, a tumor cannot reach the size of over a million cells, which is about the size of a pinhead, without having its own blood supply. And it's the inflammatories that begin to produce uh, this uh, angiogenesis. Identification of cytokines and their mechanism actions are of importance because inhibition and pro tumorigenic cytokine action may offer therapeutic preventative actions. We know that there are a number of compounds and herbs from uh, traditional Chinese medicine that uh, block angiogenesis and induce apoptosis. Next slide. Interleukin 6 is of, of a specific uh, interest to me. And I like to look at it in terms of its impact on the tumor microenvironment. These two papers that were uh, published in the last several years look at the importance of autocrine interleukin uh, 6 in lung and breast cancer and implicate interleukin 6 as an important activator of oncogenic STAT3. So it is not just uh, interleukin 6 on its own, but in the activization of STAT3 proteins that fuel the, uh, the growth of these tumors. Uh, next slide. Interleukin-6 is able to promote tumor growth by upregulating anti-apoptotic and angiogenic proteins in the tumor cells. It acts as a growth factor. In murine models that have been shown to de uh, demonstrate that antibodies against interleukin-6 diminish tumor growth. Uh, study by uh, uh, Saldagol circulating interleukin predicts survival in patients with metastatic breast cancer. It was found that there is a prognostic significance in serum interleukin-6 measured as a diagnosis. So again, interleukin-6 promotes metastases, tumor growth, and, uh, and uh, the activities of MMP. High serum interleukin-6 correlates to poor outcome in breast cancer patients. Again, the inflammatories are clearly associated with uh, a worse outcome. And this is why younger women suffer from greater reoccurrence of breast cancer than older women after treatment. Next slide. We want to look at some of the inflammatory markers. And two of the inflammatory markers that are most easy to measure in, in terms of blood are C-reactive protein and serum amyloid A. And in my practice, I regularly send patients, uh, breast cancer as well as prostate cancer, patients for blood tests to determine the level of these inflammatory markers. Uh, they are associated with, as I said, issues like waist circumference, uh, visceral adiposity, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and other lifestyle factors. Elevated serum amyloid A and C-reactive protein are associated with reduced overall survival regardless of the adjustment for age, tumor stage, race, body mass index, etc. Women with the highest third of C-reactive proteins had twofold increase COX-2, another inflammatory. Uh, it's a key enzyme that catalyzes the biosynthesis of prostaglandins from arachidonic acid and plays a critical role in some of the pathologies, including inflammation and neurogenerancy. Uh, the expression of COX-2 is upward in many cancers, therefore the product of COX-2, prostaglandin H2, is converted by prostaglandin E2 synthase into PGE2, which in turn can stimulate cancer progression. So again, we have another pathway for inflammation to stimulate the growth of cancer. Next slide. Clearly, inflammation due to immune dysregulation plays a critical, critical role. In normal wounding, the activities of, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, immune system repair damage, but in tumors, they continue to be activated even though there is no uh, wound. As Virchow pointed out in the 19th century, these are wounds that do not heal. Next slide. 
some secretion of terminal process factor interleukin 1 and 6, and uh, the uh, trichotoid saponins isolated from pulsatella appear to be an important promontory in the enhancement of anti cancer activity. <coughs> Next slide, please. Machi Xian has acted as adipose, uh, adipose cells damaged by high lipid serums, thus, could significantly increase the cell viability of the group by 40%. The supernatin tumor necrosis factor and interleukin 6 decreased significantly after Shang Lu decoction in culture. And chrysanthemum, your Chu Hua, has an inhibitory effect on serum interleukin 2 receptors, interleukin 6, and tumor necrosis factor. Next slide. Interleukin 6 treatment uh, by Hua Qian or would effectively reduce the extent of infarct scope, the excitability of neural neurons, and depolarization along with infarct spot after cerebral ischema. Prevent and uh, treat this condition. And uh, the prevention of interleukin 6 and interleukin 8. Again, some of the samples of the herbs that we use. Next slide, please. Uh, Scutellaria from Wang Chin. Again, I like to work with specific RD and RG1 significantly decrease norepinephrine and epinephrine, which again are inflammatory factors. We haven't at all touched on the inflammation that is associated with stress. And uh, for example, the uh, HPA access and its activization over long-term stressors has an impact on production of cytokines. Cytokines are raised by the constant exposure to cortisol. We also understand that cytokines, being quite small in size, pass, pass through the blood-brain barrier and lodge in the brain, and they themselves act as uh, neurotransmitters and are similar to cortotropin releasing factor on their impact, causing anxiety and depression. Depression associated with cancer is not a psychological condition, but is a byproduct of the inflammatories that are achieving, that are being manufactured by the body in response to stressors. So stress itself, uh, long-term unregulated and undiminished stress will produce inflammatory markers and increase uh, cytokines. Next slide. COP2, uh, cryptotensionum, which is from uh, an extract from uh, Danshen, uh, uh, salvia, is a major constituent of tensionums extracted from uh, salvia. <laughs> well-documented antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Again, I use uh, cryptotensionone in my clinic uh, quite regularly for 